This next exercise has many similarities with the previous one. So we got started here with a new class, letters, counter. Um, we have already all the boilerplate code here in there to save a little bit of time. So we have all of our imports, of course, but more importantly, inside of our, our main method, we are using the same uh, command line ar argument trick so that we ask the user pretty much to specify as a command line argument the name of the text file to read. So here's our text file, you know, basic stuff in it. Uh, we make sure that we have the right number of arguments. So we, for detail, I refer you to the video on the previous exercise. And then we store the file name. We open a try catch block to do some input output. So we create a new scanner uh, based on the new file name, uh, based on the new file object uh, for that file name. And we are ready here to read the file line per line. So if we compile this, Okay, it's passing. It's not doing much because we don't display much, okay? But pretty much we reuse the code that we had uh, last time. So what's what's the difference here? Well, the difference is that we want to count actually uh, two things. We want to count the number of vowels, okay? So we are going to have a counter here, and the number of consonants. And those counters are going to start at zero. So before to open the file, and go through all of the lines of the file. I'm initializing those counters. And then after I'm done, I will display system.out.println, the result of my work, which is uh, number of vowels equals, and then the content of that counter, and then number of consonants equal, followed by the value in that counter. Okay, so let's again incrementally design your code, right, and test it. So yeah, I've done nothing with my counter, so this this is fine. Uh, my program is successful at doing pretty much nothing, so that's good. We can move on. Now what we need to do is we need to store somewhere um, the the number of each of the vowels that we are going to encounter and each of the consonants that we are going to encounter. Okay, so to do that, what we are going to do is we are going to to define a hash set. Okay, so here we go, hash set of character. Okay, so this is going to tell us pretty much which letters are the vowels. And I'm going to call this, um, well, well, if I do vowels, of course, it's going to clash. So um, V set vowel set. Okay. And then I'm going to say I need therefore a new hash set of character. All right. And now I need to specify in the constructor, okay, I want to fill that uh, that vowel set, you know, with a copy of all the, uh, the vowels, all the letter I want to consider as vowels. So it's kind of a roundabout way to do it, but I can do array as list. So I'm going to convert an array into a list. Okay. And this array will be an array of character. And this new array of character will be initialized with some values. And the values are going to be uppercase A, uppercase E. Oops. It's like international typing for you. So uppercase A, uppercase E, uppercase I, uppercase O, and uppercase U. Okay, so step by step, I am uh, creating a new array of character objects, initializing it with my vowels, transforming that array to as a list, passing the list to the constructor of hash set, and now I have a set that contains those letters. And obviously I'm going to use this here. Um, every time I read a line, okay, uh, I want to go to be able to iterate over that line and figure out, you know, what each letter in that line is, where it's a vowel or it's a consonant. Okay, so since I've entered A, E, I, O, U as uppercase, I might as well read my line and immediately convert it to uppercase. So I have a, a nice little method here to do that for me. Once I have converted it to uppercase, then I can iterate over the line. So let's do a counter control loop. 
this is going to tell me how many characters are in my line okay and then I'm going to iterate with I over all of those characters and what am I going to do here well I'm going to determine whether I need to count the character as a vowel or a consonant okay so if this is a vowel else this is a consonant what am I going to do here so if it's a vowel I'm just going to say well let's increment my counter right if it's a consonant let's increment the over counter so this is the easy part now how am I going to determine if this is a actually a vowel okay I'm going to say okay let's look into my vowel set let's use the contains method okay that sounds like a good idea and inside the contains method um, I'm going to pass the character that is at index i in my line so I'm looking at the character as one power one if that character which has been transformed to uppercase right up here right is there then yes indeed I have a vowel but the else here is a little too generic the else could mean well I have a consonant or I have you know something that is a space or a punctuation sign so I need to be a little bit more discriminative here I need to say that uh, my line char at index I okay which is a character I'm looking at I need to test whether this is indeed a letter or not okay I know it's not a vowel already uh, so if it's a letter then it's a, it has to be a consonant by definition so I'm using this actually to to make that test and then if that's true then increment consonant uh, if none of those conditions is true well it's a punctuation or a space or something I don't really care I do not count it okay running this so right now it's telling me that in my data file you know I have six vowels and nine consonants let's take a look so six vowel one two three four five six with the a that sounds about right nine consonants n one two three four five six seven eight nine perfect all right so it's really similar to what we did in the previous um, previous exercise we are just using here um, we're just looking at the letter level instead of splitting things into into tokens but the ID is the same and we are using here the set not to store what we read and make sure that it's unique but to have like an easy uh, an easy way to test here you know whether the character we are reading right now belongs actually to that set of vowels so we define the set of vowels here and then we use it to just test uh, whether what we just read is a vowel or not and there we go